And I welcome you back to the Debrinic Channel. Today we are talking about Lake Oroville. We'll be talking about California, Lake Folsom as well. Steve happened to go down and you are checking out the footage right now from Steve of Lake Folsom. He was down there yesterday. Thanks a lot, Steve. And he will continue to get me video from time to time. So they won't be in every video, but every once in a while. He works as well, just like the rest of us. We are all workers. This is my little side gig that I do on the side. So happy to bring it to you tonight and thanks are going to get wet over in California. There is a ton of rain coming and both models are starting to pick up and starting to agree. The amounts are totally different, but they're both in agreement that there's going to be a lot of rain coming one way or another. One of them will win out, one will not. We're going to start off at the GFS over the next 12 hours, 0.41. So they're continued to get rain or snow. We'll see if this is new snow. Some of this is new snow. So more snow for the Sierra mountain range here. And we go back to this new snow and you can see all the way down here to Bear Valley. More snow and even Yosemite Valley is going to get 1.2 in the next 12 hours. We go to the next 24 hours and that's 1.5 at Yosemite and the European model is calling for 2.8. So you can see how much it disagrees. We go up to Bear Valley. They're talking about another 6 inches. South Lake Tahoe over here 5.1. You have a ton of precipitation. We got Lake Folsom down here 7.8 there and we continue to roll up here 4.5 at East Quincy. We come down to Brush Creek, 5 inches. Concow, 4 inches. Deadwood, 3.8. Sterling City, 4.7. Paradise over here, 3.2. And Big Ben, 4 inches in the next 24 hours. The European model is calling for a lot more intense snow, 7 inches. Concow, Deadwood, Sterling City, right around 6 to 7 inches possibly, according to them. Lake Oroville is supposed to get 0 0.7. And East Quincy is supposed to get 3.1 in the next 24 hours. We go to the next 3 days. And this thing really lights up talking about 20 inches 22 inches of snow and then we go back to the rain accumulation and you got 2.41 and brush creek over here 1.68 big Ben 1.6 we go down here towards Folsom go down to grass valley and this is rain accumulation we'll go back to the snow new snow here and you can see they're supposed to get a lot more snow here so it's been one heck of a year for for California for snow we go up to Mount Shasta up here Trinity you're talking about another eight 18 inches in the next three days and the GFS is calling for 12 so anywhere between 18 and 12 like I said the European model still being very aggressive and the GFS is being more conservative so we'll see which one wins out this year the GFS has been doing a lot better job than the European model so just take that for what it is and we continue to roll I want to go to the five day and this thing you're getting even more snow so it's like atmospheric river after atmospheric river we're up here by Mount Shasta and you're talking about 36 37 34 a lot of snow for mount chester area you're going to get a ton and we come down here to chester and you get 25 inches there that's over two feet of snow another two feet on top of what you got 25 caribou up here 28 Truckee over here 27 grass valley 10 we continue to roll down to south lake tahoe and you're talking about 25 inches bear valley 26.8 and we continue to roll down here check out down by yosemite valley like right here 40 inches Yosemite Valley 29, Mammoth Lake 32, and this is the GFS. We go back to the European, you see that it's more aggressive, over 60 inches. That's five feet of snow. That was over here between north of Yosemite, southeast of Bear Valley, and due west of Bridgeport. They definitely don't need 60 more inches, but this is what the forecast is calling for. We will see if this one's out. We go to the 10 day and look at this, even more 65 inches. And look at this swath right through here. You're talking about 130 inches of snow snow down here toward Lake Folsom area. That is insane amount of snow. 132 inches of snow. Wow, that's just crazy. Let's go up here by Lake Oroville and see what they're calling for. 70 and 80, 92. Down here by Truckee. Look at Truckee. 111 inches and 133. That is insane. You know how much snow that is, ladies and gentlemen? If you were to do the math, 12 divided by 133 is 11 feet of snow. That is a ton, ton of snow and 
and we continue to scoot on down. 136, over 11 feet there. Bear Valley, 161 inches. That's 168.8 is potentially 13 and a half feet of snow possibly coming just to the east of Bear Valley. Wow, that is incredible. We come down to Yosemite Valley. They got a ton of snow and then you come to the west and you're talking about 166 inches. That's over 13 feet. Now is the GFS calling for that much? Not so much. They're calling for 91, but still 91 is just an insane amount within itself. So who knows what will ultimately end up happening. But I also want to talk about, look over here, 19, another 19 inches. This is a fantastic news. This this has been spilling over over into Colorado. So if this comes to pass, we go down to the European. It's not it's not as aggressive over here, but if they can get 25 inches of snow over here in Colorado, that's good news for Lake Powell, Lake Mead, and down the line, that will be fantastic news. Let's hope this pattern continues for another month and a half. Two months would be great. Three months would even be better, but we'll take what we can get. And California, you guys are getting a ton of snow. Now let's go back to the rain accumulation and you can see that not quite the entire state's going to be wet. We come down here, somebody said SoCal, they said. SoCal's supposed to get in on the action a little bit. You're talking about 0.68. You come up here to Lake Havasu, they're not going to get much. You can see this line right here, it just kind of stops. So Los Angeles is going to get in on the action on this one. San Diego, not so much, 0.29. Santa Barbara over here, 4.27. And the GFS, they're calling for some, 1.78. So we'll see which one's went out. My friend's over in Bakersfield, 0.96. Are you guys going to get snow? Nope, not at all. So that's good news for a change. You don't want no snow. And then we go back to the rain accumulation. You can see that they're going to get almost 12 inches of rain equivalent. That's insane. That is a lot. That is a foot of rain. So luckily this is all snow instead of rain. So that's fantastic news. Come up here and they're talking about 14 inches of possible rain over here towards Lake Folsom area. And then over here by Lake Oroville. This is the GFS, by the way. So they're talking 13.2 inches of rain. And they're talking, I bet I can find it, 20.5 inches of rain accumulation on top of this. Wow. Now, somebody said that they were letting water out at the lake. I don't think that was the case. Somebody just didn't read the numbers correctly. And we're going to go talk about that here in a minute. I want to go to Tropical Tidbits and show you what's going on there now. We are at Tropical Tidbits, and I want to roll through this real fast here as you can see it's raining a little bit today we go to the 18 it starts to rain we continue to scoot snowing in northern california snow in oregon they definitely need some in oregon they said that exceptional drought still up there right in the middle part of oregon so that will be good here comes the first storm and it rolls through and then here comes another powerful storm coming through right here and we're at the 84 hour mark and we continue to roll on and you can see that this lasts through the 90 through the 96 through the 102 and you can see how much of this is actual rain so this could be concerning if this is more rain than snow we'll have to keep an eye on that to see if that really happens because you really don't want a bunch of rain on top of the snow because it'll melt the snow really really fast and that is not a good situation that'll definitely make people's head spins how fast that lake could actually come up if that happened because we got a ton of snow in the sierra mountain range especially up by lake warville so we'll have to keep an eye on this to see if that turns into rain or if it goes back to snow you can see it's kind of yellow that means it's a mixed bag the yellow the blue is snow and the yellow is mixed so that is not good worth the you can see that it's still rain not what we need see that last prolongs for a little while and then we're at the 150 and here comes another system through and then another system through and that's all rain so this is very concerning if this is actual rain instead of snow this could be a bad bad deal in about 174 hours from now if this happens look this yellow bag doesn't mean it's snowing that could mean it's heavy rain or it could mean it's sleet or ice even possibly so we'll have to wait and see if that happens but time will tell and then it continues to rain some of this is snow but you can see like in the higher elevations it's yellow and then there's blue right up in the real high elevations so we'll be watching to see if that happens at the 198 hour mark and you can see that starts to scurry away over for the colorados look at this low there could be a nor'eastern brewing out here in the east coast if you're out there 
Mark, take note for anybody that might be out on the East Coast. I know that my subscriber Norm is out in Virginia, so that could possibly hit him. He definitely wants to be mindful of that. And look at this, more rain and snow coming. And we continue to scoot on here. And here comes another system, rain and snow in the Sierras. And then it scoots off. And then we continue to roll on. We're at the 264 mark. And here comes another system through right here. You can see this low pressure at the 300 hour mark. Most of California gets wet. And then we continue to roll on. And then more rain coming through at the 330 hour mark. We go to 342. And then it starts to dry up a bit finally. Hopefully that's a sign of things to come. We're at the 384. And you can see there's a big system in the middle of the country. A big system out on the Atlantic. And that's what we got going on. Let's roll over to the numbers. I want to talk about what went on today. I think they had a glitch in the system. And we will talk about that right now. So somebody's like, oh, the lake dropped dramatically. I really don't think the lake dropped dramatically. I think what happened was these are your inflows. These are your outflows. This is what goes out. The ends are negative 41. I think they had a glitch in the system. I really don't think that it was because all of a sudden you had 124. You went from 41,654 and it says N. So I guess N means no read, I'm assuming. And then you went from that to 124,000 CF. Yes. I don't think that happened. I think it was more like six, seven, five thousand, somewhere in there. I think what happened was I think I think it was a, either a typo or on the computer. It was probably more like one thousand six hundred and fifty four, not negative forty one. Seven thousand three hundred thirty four. You get the gist. And the outflows are what you gotta look at. Now this really messed up the numbers for a little bit. These are inflows, these aren't outflows, so the lake really didn't drop and it shouldn't have, but it did. Here it went from two million six hundred and twenty thousand 274 to 2,610,313. So it dropped all the way down to 2,605,447 and the lake supposedly dropped. I don't think any of that happened. I think the lake's still rising. These numbers, the outflows are what you got to look for, not the inflows. So keep that in mind next time you see that. That way you guys know that inflows mean water's coming in. Outflows means water's going out. So that's what's going on there. Let's go look at the graph real quick and see what's going on there. See it didn't reflect negatively here it didn't show that it dropped any so the lake continues to rise matter of fact we're up almost one foot since yesterday at this time we're currently at 836.82 feet msl monday march 6 2023 at 3 p.m the level is 63.18 feet below full pool of 900 and like i just said changes since yesterday this thing has come up 0.93 feet since december 3rd which so happens to be my birthday the level was at 658.55 feet since then the level has come up a staggering 178.27 feet and that's a span of 93 days the lake has come up 178.27 feet in 93 days that is crazy that's just a crazy, insane amount, and it will continue to come up even higher and higher. As long as it's snow, we're good. But if it starts to rain on top of this snow, we are in trouble, ladies and gentlemen. I can assure you. One of my viewers yesterday commented that they live at the beginning of the Feather River, and they said, you guys wait till this snow starts to melt. You guys are in for a doozy downstream. He says he lives right at the beginning of the Feather River, and I'm going to take his word for it. I believe it. We don't need rain. Not right now. We need more snow. We don't need any any precipitation, to be quite frank. Rain on top of this snow, if that really comes to pass, we are in big, big trouble. So we got to continue to watch this. You need to get the message out to your families to click over and check out the this because this is important this could become serious situation you guys went from drought to major flooding possibly coming within the next month maybe sooner within the next two weeks possibly so keep that in mind you guys need to be vigilant you don't need to be going through creeks that are rushing don't think you can be a hero it only takes two inches of water to sweep you away i've seen it firsthand you don't mess around with water it's very powerful very very dangerous keep that in mind lake oroville they will have to open up the spillway if all this rain comes to pass if it rains on top of the snow that's already there they will be releasing water out as quick as possible soon so we will continue to watch i'm gonna have steve up there getting filmed for me whenever that happens he's already planning on it so we got to wait for the, that day to come i don't know what day that will be but we'll definitely be monitoring it to see what day that may happen so it's common sense will tell you at some point they're gonna have to release water you're 13.18 feet away from a 
850 mark. That's where they did it before. We will see if they do it again. And if the rain comes to fruition, they definitely will start dropping the lake. They will have no choice. I know they're going to be more conservative this time around because last time it bit them in the butt. But, but at the same time, the lake only come four feet away from the top last time. So keep that in mind. We're going to roll down to Lake Folsom next. Here we are at Lake Folsom and they are currently retaining water. You can see that they're currently at 426.61 feet MSL. Monday, March 6, 2023 at 3 p.m. The level is 39.39 feet below full pool of 466. Changes since yesterday. Things come up a half a foot since yesterday, so this will continue to rise. At some point, they will have to let water out just like they did back in January. Now, the cool thing about Lake Folsom is it comes up quick and it drops dramatically if they want it to. They have really good control over at Lake Folsom, so we will watch to see if that happens. You can see at the beginning of the year, we are at 429.8. 86 feet so the lake is still lower now than it was at the beginning of the year but they did that intentionally because they knew they had a ton of snow they still have a ton of snow that's going to melt at some point if it rains that will be bad too so let's hope for snow let's not hope for rain let's hope for a slow melt because a fast rain is going to be very very concerning as i just showed you on tropical tidbits let's go see what all the percentages are of the lakes real quick and we will go through that and i will be done with this report for today new bullards bar is at 81, 114% for the day. Folsom's at 59%. I think last year it only got up to 61%, so that's good news. It's starting to rise. 114% for this date. Kachuma is 73%, 118 for today. New Malone's 47 and 77 for today. Shasta is 61%, 83%. Lake Oroville, 74%, 116%, so you're almost 25% of the way full. Trinity 33%, 48% of full. If anybody could use some water, it's definitely Trinity. They are the lowest. And the other lowest is Millerton at 45%, 70%. So Pine Flat could use some as well at 56 and 117. So the rest of them are in fairly good shape. San Luis is 81%. You guys can check this out. It's linked below. So this was taken March 5th. Today is March 6th. So this is not today, but this is the best we got for the time we got. And that's all I got. So you guys have a blessed day and we will see you on the next one. God bless.